Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video guide I will show you how to use our page audit that is a part of a site audit tool. It will help you to quickly identify technical on-page SEO issues, by fixing them you can improve your ranking and get more traffic and sales. With it you can check URLs indexation, anchors, internal linking on the page, check your page speed and many more. In order to access this type of report, you will need to go to your site audit, then click on the view issues and look for the specific URL on your website that we have crawled. Click on it and voila, we are here. Now let's see what this tool can offer you in terms of on-page SEO for your website. First goes general overview of the page. Here you can check the status code of the page, its content type, canonical page and check if it is allowed to be crawled. There is also the information about its HTTP headers at the bottom. In the next section you will find a general information about the content of the URL. Everything from its title to the actual Google preview. Also lower there are some really useful features such as h1 to h6 structure, open graph tags and Twitter cards. The next goes a list of top 20 keywords from Google Search Console by lost clicks for the last 30 days with the performance metrics and the status of using them in title, meta description, h1 to h6 headers and all tags. Also, there will be a list of top keywords to expand the content. It represents keywords from Google Search Console by lost clicks for the last 30 days that are missing from the content. There are just no such keywords in the page text, title, meta description, h1 to 6 headers and all text, but your page ranks by them in Google. So this is a great opportunity to expand your content with these keywords. In the URL inspection tab, you will find a quick summary about the page indexation, its crawling and selected canonical along with the usability check. This data is also important for Google Search Console. Here you can see if Google added this page into index and if yes, where Google found this page at first. Localization section will show you if there are some free plan text set that localize a page. As you can see there are none, but if your website has free plan text, you will see them in a table and see if there are any issues in their implementation. Also, there are three sections with the intro linking on the page. They will show you all the internal backlinks, internal links and external links on the page, along with their status codes. This is really useful if you, for example, are going to remove some specific page and want to be sure that there are no backlinks to it left. Or if there is some already removed page, you will see a 404 status code here, so you can quickly remove the intro linking. Mobile and desktop pages speed tabs contain the page speed insights both for mobile and desktop devices. Also, here you will see the data importing from Google Lighthouse checks along with the short tips of what is better to be changed in order to optimize your page speed. In the Images tab, you will see the URLs of the images the page has, their status codes, size and attributes, and the same goes for CSS and JavaScript file tabs. This tab will help you to find broken and too large files or resources. The last but not the least is the HTML source tab. It will show you the HTML code of the page directly in the audit, so you do not have to switch your browser steps in order to compare our report with what you see in the actual code of the page. You can search any tag, class or parts of the content in this tab. That was it for today. In case you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and if you still have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at sidechecker.pro. See you in the next videos.